Hey, Harry. Sorry, you're in my way, boo. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Footloose Eventing and my first event of the season. I'm incredibly late today, so I haven't had time to film an introduction. So we're going to do it on the go. Today I have Harry. This is my... Oh, we're having a little leave break. This is my first event on him for five years. It's been a long time. So, And it's my first event in general for... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Harry's very excited. This anyway. is the worst film I ever saw. Is it I'm here to give you a voiceover of the BE 102 test with Harry. Now, dressage with Harry has never been my strong point. He is quite lazy and just completely different to all of the other horses that I've kind of ridden over the years. A uh, bit of a backwards warm blood and it's kind of like maneuvering a tank around the arena quite a tense one by the look of this because he was a bit tense you could hear he's quite shouty um and i just found it quite hard to get him kind of off my leg and listening to him partly because i didn't have a very long warm-up at all now that is no excuse it was just the fact that we were running very late and blah blah, blah. anyway no warm-up meant pretty interesting test but I have to say it's looking a lot better than it was feeling because it felt really, really quite terrible. Uh, that's not a 20 meter circle, Lucy. It's falling a bit short though. We did have to give and retake on the reins on the outside and I felt like I needed more leg there to support him around the turn. Um, Harry, his straightness, I find it quite difficult with him as well. Look at him there, just having a look around. <laughs> it's like, where are we? What are we doing? Um, I find, because he, he, his quarters tend to whoop, just fly around everywhere unless you kind of get him really between your legs but I've been used to riding a racing saddle recently so I should have done some more practice in my dressage saddle. This is probably the least free walk of history and again I didn't quite oh no I nearly did the half 20 meter circle that was supposed to be a half 20 meter circle but you can see he's not really stretching down and that is because guys didn't really have a warm-up, so he wasn't really feeling like stretching down. It was kind of the opposite. He was kind of feeling like stretching up. Um, you can see he's just, just biting me in the hand a little bit. There's just not really suppleness going on. <laughs> suppleness is probably not the word I would use to describe this test. Um, it was. It just feels, looks a bit robotic and yeah kind of uninspiring i feel uninspired watching this back i'm not gonna lie and these this across the center line and downward transition i mean if it's <laughs> look at that head carriage he's just not working through the back or behind it's all kind of just it's getting out the window really interesting counter transition it was fine nothing to report home about he did, I remember going down this long side thinking he's just going to stop in a minute. Like he was so slow, <laughs> so slow. Then we had a bad turn here, he fell in. And then the give and retake, you can't even see, um, but it did happen. And he was actually better on that one. And then coming back to the trot again, I just, that was, that was actually all right, I'd say. Um, and then we had to do a little turn here. Which again, I need way more leg. I need way, way, way more leg. I need just to have all the leg in the world. And you think, as a tall person, I, I am gifted with legs. So why am I not using them? Turn down the centre line. I think I remember laughing at this point. Because I was like, oh, right. We've been working on our halts, Harry. We can do this. We have actually been jig-jogging into the halt and it's been working. But for some reason, I decided to do a sliding stop. And fat. Oh! Hello, it's square. Finally. Well done. <laughs>
And for some reason, I felt the need to check <laughs> if I was square or not, which probably looked so dumb. Well done, Lucy. Oh, good boy, Harry. Little Pat. So, <laughs> I haven't caught up with you properly yet because it was such a rush to get here this morning. We were really late, there was a diversion, and it was all a bit of a manic, and I didn't really have as long for the dressage warm-up as I wanted, which resulted in a bit of a tense Harry, who... Oh my God, look, sorry, I just have to walk round this muddy puddle. It's all the watering they've been doing here, guys. Hard ground what? So the dressage was a bit interesting um but just a little bit tense i think wasn't it yeah but your canterwork was very nice yeah the canterwork was very nice oh by the way this is Charmin, who's Hello. here today with her horse doing the 100 for the first time on him we've come up to our first combination our first question which is 4a and b which is this a double of do you call it a palisade pheasant feeder pheasant feeder it is a pheasant it's definitely a pheasant feeder it's definitely not a palisade did you hear that squelch then yeah that was a squelch. Look yep. at that, look at that cutting on the ground there. Perfect. Oh my god, look, Squelchy. it's actually mud. There is mud here. That That's muddy. That's amazing. Mud. Here we are, on course with Harriet Sharman. Walking the cross country. Last time I was here I did the 80. Yeah, now you're doing 100. Yeah, yeah but I broke, fell off and broke my back Shh, last time. Shh, don't say that. Oh my god, look at that lovely. Sponsored by Dash. Yeah. <laughs> I you wish. Should, you should. This stuff's really good. This stuff. Yummy. So this is the water, which is a nice little table. There is house, definitely is house, not a table. Jesus Christ, it's a hot day, guys. Table, house, and splash, and then out over that one. Now this, this splash is Harry's nemesis. Harry doesn't like water very much, so not with me anyway. Not with me. Yeah. Fence seven. So we're Do you want to stand behind it quickly? Completely through the finish flag. Run, run. And they have no jumping penalty. Yeah, it's quite big when you look at it like that. I know for a fact that Gino, my old ex racehorse, has trotted over that, so that makes me feel better. <laughs> Not with me, may I add. That was an Abbey Bolton special. That's David. David Britnell riding something. Now we have number 10, which is a houses on a curving line, which this horse is going to demonstrate for us really nicely. One, two, three, four. Is that three or four? I mean, it's kind of country, not So like a, a held, a held four. <laughs> We're at fence 11. Another corner, my god, look, corner city here. It's way bigger. No, it's not, it's the same size. Yeah, it's totally the same. Literally, it's fine. Stop worrying. Maybe a little bit bigger, but um, anyway, Sharman's done the classic horse geek thing, which is what everyone does, including myself. And uh, she's looked at my dressage score on eventing scores, which you can do. So it's a website, basically, which tells you all the scores of the day. <laughs> It's a horse person's favourite thing to do. Right, go on then. Yeah. I was thinking 37. Okay, 36.5. Okay. So much better. Much 0.5 better than I thought it was going and to be. And you're currently in 10. How many people are in the Six section? Six people have gone. Oh, no, no. Right, we actually need to get on now. Relate, relate. It's like a boat, that thing. So this is a bit... Um, Interesting, so it's on a downhill here, so we're just so waiting this roll top, and then um, one, two, one, two. <whistles> I'm move out of the way. I'll let this horse show you the strides actually. So we're approaching the end. This light is so terrible. Sorry, it's the sun. Approaching the end of the course as a chair. And then I think we go around the corner and that's the finish, Sharman. Sharman's basically got 35 minutes to plat and get be on off. her horse. Not okay. And get yourself ready and too. And get my bride along, which is always a oh problem. No. Cross country is walked and now we're back at the trailer and it's ready to introduce you guys to the dream team today. We have, <laughs> firstly, we've got Laura, Hi. who has come from all the way from sunny Maidenhead. <laughs> uh, normal, uh, normal. Yeah. Laura used to help me back when we had Harry 
um, at the other yard, yeah. Andrew's yard. Andrew is in Harry's owner. Um, and then secondly, we have, uh, da, 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 show your face, Lucy number two, woo! Um, Lucy came with me to Kiso one time with Lara Lee. That was the last time. That she came with me. Many years before. Many, uh, yeah, and like every event previous to that, Lucy came. Um, I was very lucky to have two, two lovely Seems people. Seems to be dream birds. <laughs> um, sweating. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's also very warm around the course, but the course is looking good, guys. And there's mud on the ground. Oh, Actual wow. mud, wet mud. Mud, wet people, mud. People splashing through. Yeah, no, I feel okay. It's just, you? it's just, I'm going to keep it steady. Yeah. Because it's warm. And uh, just kick yeah. and pray. And have a good time. Good. So now I'm going to get ready myself and then I'm going to jump on. Ready. Are we ready? Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Look at ready. Yes. Good boy. She starves us when we Come work on, with her. Do Doesn't feed oh. us anything. <laughs> okay, mister. Yes. Cool. Are you updating the dressage or not? No, I've updated it around the oh, cross country. Really? I know, I'm already on it, Lisa. Don't you worry. Come on, Mummy. Clever, Mummy. He looks very handsome. Very, very handsome indeed. Playing. Yeah, I just Footloose. thought that Footloose music. <laughs> it's got to be a good sign. It's got to be a good sign. A good sign. A good sign. Oh no! 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 This is post show jumping, and uh, we're 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 un face. unplatting Hide. sooner than expected. Hey guys, so you saw what happened there? I had a flyer myself, not in a good way, in a bad way, and I can't remember the last time I fall off, and, and that's actually the first time I've ever fallen off Harry, and uh, it was took me by a bit of surprise. However, I did land it. I landed on my feet, but it just meant that. I don't know what it means. I'm just really annoyed and then I took him back into the warm-up after I got checked by the doctor and I landed on my feet. Um, and he jumped amazingly. I don't think you guys filmed him jumping after, did you? No, sorry. No, it's okay. That's fine. But he jumped, he was literally like, like, oh, okay. Pop. So I don't know what it was. If it was just I was, he had a really nice jump over the first and I was a bit complacent. Or... Um, or what happened, but it happened, and I've got to go home. And I really wanted to go around the cross country because it looked amazing, and I'm really, really quite annoyed. So, yeah. Anyway, oh right, I'll, I'm, I need to, I need to de-vent. So uh, Harry has just come back from her dressage, looking <laughs> really delighted. Really angry. Oh no, you're not angry. You're just disappointed. I'm just annoyed because he's scared of flowers. And no, there's flowers but, everywhere. So he's an ex racer, as well, isn't he? As yeah, well. and you can't touch his ear. Hence, no. Yeah, look, hey guys, have you ever seen this? Eventing with no brow band. It's, it's the half up, half down look. Yeah, exactly. It's like, get off me. Like, get off my ear. Okay. So you're an ex racer. Ooh. When did he do his retraining? Um, he hasn't, well... When was he off the track? He was off the track last November. Oh my gosh, and now you're doing 100? 
Well, I do. He does spend most of his time at Georgie Spencer, so I don't know <laughs> cheating. Don't write him. <laughs> That's cheating. Shout out to Georgie Spence. For, Georgie Goss now. For, for, oh yeah, for Georgie Goss for, for producing for, him <laughs> for you. For riding him for me. I've just <laughs> undone all the good work oh, that she no, does. Oh no, you haven't. Don't be ridiculous. I think you're going to smash it in the jumping. Well, I don't think you can do any I'm worse than me. Smash all the show jumps. You know, you can't <laughs> do any worse than me. It's actually a really nice course. As long as you make it to the third bit. Yeah. yeah. So it's a really nice there. course if you can get past number two. Ah. Oh. Well, the best thing to do when you're absolutely dying of humiliation and embarrassment is to drown your sorrows in food and Diet Coke. So, um, sadly, there's no cheesy chips, which I'm actually quite gutted about. I'm quite sure about this, though, guys. Yeah. And here we have Harriet Sharman. I'm going to have to put music over it because there's someone singing a song in the background. Yep, beat me. Fantastic. She needed to. Yeah. She just needs to go bigger and faster into the corners. Oh, well done. 983 Harriet Pope wins Goldfield. Well done. But my commentary is just a grade zero. This is terrible commentary. Coming round the corner to fence five, which is this double. Well done. Yes! Oh, well done. That was lucky. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Maisie got over that. I hope we can hear Mummy Sharman's commentary in the background because this is this is this is priceless. Come on, come on, Harry. You can do this. You can do this. Make it clear, baby. Oh god, I've actually it's cursed it. that. I'm so sorry. It's just like, so sorry. Go, Harry. Push the bloody thing. Oh, that's good. Not bad, bro. Yay! Woo! So we've just... Oh, my, ignore my straps, everybody. It's very vulgar. Um, just watched Harry do her show dumping. We're going to get the debrief. Well done! Oh hey! You did, you did so well! You did so hard. You did no. You oh, did sorry. amazing. Good boy, Harry. You did so I keep well. Walking. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. You Thanks, know where Liz. I know. Well, that I always <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, and that and line you were fine. The yeah. mum real. The the, the, mum. Re, the, cool, isn't it? the realistic. Mum where Harris. did it go wrong? Where did it go wrong, Ratkin? Too much fiddling, Harry. I fiddled in. Fiddled at five. Fiddled at five. I don't think it was five actually. It was, it was six. Wasn't oh, it? was it? Or seven. That doesn't rhyme. No. It was six, which is that horrible. Yeah. No, you did brilliantly. Sucked at six. You sucked at six. There you go. <laughs> Back with Harry. Seeing how he's getting on in the X track. So we've made it. So this door is open. Okay. And this is open. There's a nice through breeze, basically, because the wind is coming, literally, from here, straight into your trailer, isn't it? So you're very happy and smug. <laughs> and you've just said Lucy's just giving you some water. Yes. Big bum hole. I don't know if I'm allowed to say bum hole on the vlog, but I'm saying it. Bum hole. Yes, you have some hay. So, mm, mm. I'm so clever. Oh, that is a really nice breeze. Yeah, actually. so it's good. Right, guys, you're going to have to live vicariously, if that's the word, right. through uh, oh God, through Sharman. Vlog. Yes, exactly. This is now Harriet Sharman eventing at Aston Walls for the first I'm time ever. Uh, X no, three mile. Did, was he over hurd hurdles? No, mate. What? He did like. Well, he didn't do Grand National stuff, obviously, but <laughs> he was like chaser, yeah. national hunt. Okay. So, three three miles. He's an ex um, Laura Morgan horse. Shout yeah. out to Laura Morgan. Shout out to Laura Morgan. A bit of cheeky cheeky Just free plug in, plug in there. <laughs> Hope you appreciate that, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Henry. And this is Henry. Who was is known as Goldfields. Goldfields. Goldfield. Like Goldfield. Goldfield. I can't get on there. Oh. How's Just your leg up skills, Liz? I know. Let's put him in the stick. Yeah. And then you go up higher. Glad to see your boots are as in good condition as mine. On the this boo Ariat, these were only oh, like 18 months old. So get me some new boots. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You've, 
You've heard the wiggy. You've heard the new influencer here. One, Already two, demanding three. boots. <laughs> wow, up oh, oh my god, oh, feet, feet, feet. Oh my god. Oh my god. You need a bit more spring oh. in you, Shaman. Oh, she's jumping. Oh, get in and get out. Do you want a sip of water before we go? Just a little, do you want me to unscrew it? Yeah. Hydrated, stay hydrated. You'll be fine, just Thanks. breathe, kick on, look up, and, and don't... Up. Is she going in? No. This is the bit, everyone who's new to eventing, you've got the countdown. She's had a minute to go. You walk around the start box, you're not allowed to canter through it, because that is cast as dangerous riding. God, that doesn't want to stop, does it? <laughs> <laughs> like not stopping. <laughs> right, here we go. Here he is. So she's gonna stamp him in there, nice and calm. Bit of a pat. The hen hen. And and she's off. Oh, very careful. Go a bit quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get her not jumping anything. Well done, Lucy. Yeah. What a good idea. Oh, through the through the hedge. Oh, could have gone over this one. Hang on. Whee! The champion. Um, I like this. Give the whole debrief. No. Give the blog something that I didn't provide them. <laughs> the ones that are really easy. Yeah. I just. Got right underneath them. I think you kind of don't think as much I for know, those, I don't you? Like, oh, I can rest at this one. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're heading to the new wash bays at Aston. Look how good this is. So you finish across the country. Whip the tap off. Give a full, full wash. I think I need a wash down as well. I haven't even done anything. Here we go. Look, all hosed off. Right, oh, so we have dumped the horses. And left them there. Okay. <laughs> We've dumped the horses out. Also, this is not a good hair moment. Don't get me in this design. Look, like a little we're at the pub. Um, basically, we dumped the horses at lovely Helen's down the Amazing. road, which was about 15 minutes oh, away. So and now we're having some lunch, and I'm so excited. Could we possibly have some mayonnaise and ketchup? <laughs> Thank you. I have to get that in there. Guys, you're going to love what food selection we've got mm. here. Isn't it? Goat's cheese salad. Ooh, yes. Some asparagus with the mushroomy. <gasps> Obviously the main event. The chunk, the chunk of Lovely plastic box um, here. A more asparagus. And look, crispy. What is this? Lovely. Pasto mayo. Lovely. Amazing. And we've got great. some lovely... Yes. Oh, it's really. Ciders. Some cider inside for inside. Double clear? No, you weren't. <laughs> Definitely weren't double clear. But that is the day. You, you, had, a, you had a good um, cross country. The best ever. Yeah, it was really good. So Although, I didn't feel like I actually rode that well. Do you know what? Did you, did you have any time penalties? I would have had a hundred million time have penalties. You Update for you all. It is now... Should have... Uh, 6.47. 6.47. And horses have been happily chilling still in the field. Because it's still a bit warm, isn't it? To yeah. travel. So, we we're waiting. Um, and we went to the petrol station to get some food. And, oh, it's an M&S. Our favourite type, so quick food haul. I got the Herbie Falafel and Tabule nutritious salad. I'm not hungry in the slightest, still from lunch, but whatever. And Luce got the Bang Bang Chicken Rice and Noodles salad. So comment below whose salad you would rather have. Lucy number one, me, or Lucy number two? Her. Mine. <laughs> Oh look, that's a weird angle. Yeah, that's a bit of a... You've been in this field all afternoon. Aren't you lucky? Hey Hen, me mate. He's like, okay, time to go now. We're we gonna go now. Got the trailer there. Just about to go home. It's like nearly eight o'clock. <laughs> so you've had a day of not being travelled in the heat, hey? What we do for you? I'm knackered, but you're probably fine now. So, yeah. Okay. Good boy. Say bye to your new friends. Bye, friends. Oh, look what time we're home. Oh, but this is a really fat 
Oh, wow. I think I need to put my sunglasses on. Like, terrible. Oh, I look like a thumb. No. no. Um, we've just had a very long <laughs> journey back. <laughs> it did mean that we were managed to travel in the coolest part of the day, obviously, at midnight. <laughs> Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So, it is Sunday now, the day after, and um, Harry is totally fine today. Say hi. Yeah, good boy. He's just had his feed with his more electrolytes in. But now Lucy and I are going to go for a lovely ride. Oh, oh there she goes. Just the professional. Uh, as ever. How's your girth? Um, I'm unsure. I can't see you. You're in the shade. He's like, bye, see ya. Ooh. And here we are at the pub. Funnily enough, oh, we're about to eat. What have we got today? So Lucy has opted for, just looks like a giant roast, roast beef. Roast beef. Roast beef. Oh, we've got the, got the potatoes, the mash, collie, and then the sides, the red cabbage, oh, seasonal greens, and cauliflower cheese. And I have gone a bit rose. Gone for smoked salmon salad with some fries. Hello fast forward a day because we had a very nice lunch and just enjoyed having a lovely catch up Lucy and I that I didn't actually close the vlog after. Hello Harry. Hello you can't see. Can we see you there? Is that? Hello. Not my most ideal outcome. Um, the fall and just everything but um, you know it happens with eventing and horses as you know not everything goes to plan i have studied that video of the fall um quite carefully and um can't really see any real reason why that happened um especially given how well he jumped um after in the warm-up but it's just going to be one of those things and we're going to have to just try again i will report though one positive is that the 36.5 dressage score that i got which lots of people would be absolutely horrified by uh, has actually been the best score that i've got on harry over the last uh well when i first started eventing him i think 36.8 was the best that I ever got with him. So let's take that as a small win, even though it's still very, very, very far from perfect. Anyway, but we're all here. We live to tell the tale. Um, yes, if you enjoyed this, make sure you give my video a like, leave a comment below, give some sympathy comments. Love a sympathy comment. <laughs> I'm joking, you don't have to give me any sympathy. And um, yeah, subscribe if you want to see more. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.